Libra, welcome to your work career money reading for August. Let's take a look and see what is on the cards for you, Libra. Um, so before I jump in, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, uh, think about leaving me a comment and please do subscribe if you'd like to keep more of these free readings coming. In the description of this reading, you'll also find the link to my website if you would like to arrange a personal reading. Uh, you can also learn tarot with me. The information is down below. Join my karmic community or follow me on Instagram because I'm very uh, active over there with daily content. Okay, well, let's jump in, Libra. What we have here is we've got some oracle cards down the middle. I have four cards for work career and I have four cards for your money invest investment and finance. Okay, so let's jump in with the oracles. Now, I've got the cardinal moon card, which says be bold and make the first move. Okay, well, I, I feel like this is really pertaining to the work career sector here. And I think that there is something that you need to speak up, act up on. So we will get to that. And it feels like if you stay quiet or if you don't take action or if you don't initiate, then this is going to just slip by unnoticed. Okay. Or maybe somebody's trying to put something under the carpet here. As the, the saying goes, we do have the seven of swords in the reading here. Now I also have the quiet retreat card Libra and it says it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity on what to do next. That's right. I mean, when we're in situations where there are a lot of opinions or there's a lot of information, uh, and just a lot of distractions It can be really challenging to really tune in and to process and to think about what we want to do with something. So try and carve out some time, um, you know, around the time of this reading, even if it's just an hour to sit quietly with yourself and really sort of unpack and logically think through what you have been experiencing. We've got a little bit of shadow energy here in this reading, Libra. I mean, the Seven of Swords here in the outcome is, is really sort of showing up to me. And I just feel that there might have been a wrongdoing when it comes to work career or some undermining uh, all the way through to some kind of um, maybe even workplace bullying or gaslighting is coming through. So I'm very sorry if you're going through that. You're showing up in the Four of Pentacles at the moment here, Libra, and it's somebody who's kind of sitting quiet, holding on, uh, protecting the Ace of Pentacles here, protecting their money, protecting their opportunities, protecting their work, um, reputation maybe is what I'm feeling here. But I think that you actually need to, to rise up and, and be in your power here and make a first move. And that first move could be, well, there's something here that I need to report, right, to my employee assistance program or to my manager or, or something like that. Maybe even an external, uh, you know, party that resolves these kind of issues. Or, you know, maybe it's the, the initial conversation that needs to be had here that you see what's going on. And it might not even directly pertain to you, Libra. It might be something that's going on for a colleague, but you've noticed or you've noticed some behavior that just feels really off. And it feels like, you know, someone's going to get away with something, Seven of Swords, if this isn't really spoken up about. And then, of course, that, that, that can happen again. So the challenge is the King of Swords, and that is you stepping up in your full power, your King energy, that full maturity to, to shine light on truth, right? The King of Swords, Swords energy. It's about maybe there's some evidence that you have here or some truth that you need to share. This is the energy of the person who can see all of the detail can see the big picture. So maybe you you see what's going on here and others don't. And I think that's time for you to to make that known because I think you can really transform the situation here. Look, it could even be that you were promised something like pay rise or promotion. And, you know, you now may be seeing that that was used as a little bit of a carrot, like a little bit of a manipulation tool because I see the ace of pentacles over here in your money sector and we've got the moon so we've got shadowy energy around new opportunities stability or security or you know maybe there's something here in your personal life that you wanted to to buy to you know a home or, or something you and your partner needed something like that and you were relying on somebody's word 
in in your workplace or the win of a new client there's something that you were led to believe potentially that hasn't come through and it feels like a deception it feels like a betrayal and I think you need to hold them accountable here Libra that's what I'm feeling so the advice is the king of pentacles okay and it's funny because the king of pentacles is a Taurian energy it links to our money it links to our stability our security our contract and it also talks about you know loyalty and commitment so I think that's where we need to to shine the light and it feels like the other person involved is in a position of power is a decision maker or an authority around your opportunities or your work or your money something like that and I think again yet this needs to be recognized and acknowledged and I think if you do I really feel this links to your money sector and I think that that ace of pentacles can actually be yours and there's a life lesson being taught of being the one to step up and make that first move and and you know speak up show up and and really you know be the person to to bring this into light okay so that's what I'm seeing there in work career and that most definitely flows into the money investment finance over here Libra so we've got the moon uh, in terms of signs here as I mentioned I've got Taurus I've got uh, you know I've got this is normally Aquarius for me but I, I feel this is you really showing up in your maturity here Libra and I have Pisces Cancer connections with the moon the moon often talks about you know somebody wearing a false mask or undercurrents you know I think we we have the link here I can even see that seven of swords kind of looking over to the side here so what I feel is that you were made some kind of promise like I said about well that that promotion will be yours or will give you that big client or you know maybe someone was about to sign a deal or bank manager was about to give you money something like that right but you know there's been some delays or some complications or maybe they were even just talking a big game when they couldn't really make that offer because the moon is is shadowy right like you thought you were going on a new path here and now it's it's kind of in shadow right and we can't really illuminate it and the moon can be where there is you know secrets deception betrayal or or undercurrents here the 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 challenge is the the two of cups this could have put pressure on your relationship right because it could be something that you'd wanted to create together with your partner like it's funny because I saw the ten of pentacles yeah at the bottom of the deck as I was fumbling to get that last card out and it could be look well we're going to move into that better home or we're going to buy a home we're going to be able to invest or your parents will be able to move in with us or be able to add to the family renovate the home all those kind of ten of pentacles themes but I just feel that there's something shadowy around that and it hasn't really come through and it may have put pressure on, on a personal relationship or there could have been trust with this person here and you might have had quite a close connection and that's why there was sort of words and talk without a contract in front and then you've realized that maybe there was two sides to this or somebody was you know making promises that really they wasn't really that their place to make and that's left you in in nine of wands you know sort of in the the fighting the battle here and you know not really being able to to move ahead so the nine of wands yeah it does show a challenge or a struggle but it also says that you have the resources or the energy to go through the process and I think it's worth it because I see the ace of pentacles in the outcome here Libra and I think you'll actually get a positive outcome it kind of feels you know hard done by and you might have really really worked very very hard uh, because of the promise that you were made here you might have really dug it in and gone overtime overboard and you know you're burning out because of that and then on top of that when this hasn't come through it's like that's sort of the last nail in the coffin isn't it it just felt like a a real deception but I think the through one action right the nine the nine of wands just needs one action one communication to bring this to the ten of wands completion of a stressful situation that has weighed you know fairly heavy on you for a period of time the outcome is the ace of pentacles Libra and whatever it was whether it was money or a contract I see you actually getting that I see this being in your favor I see you you know finally being able to grab hold of whatever that was and then you can move ahead 
uh, you know, with that goal, that Ten of Pentacles goal that you that you did have. So if you were wondering when you came to this reading whether to say anything or whether to let this slide, you are being told no, you have to do something about this because I actually think that you can win and this is just all part of the lesson of you know, boundaries and accountability and, and follow through. And, you know, also it's not worth the pressure and strain that it's putting on your, your personal relationships. So that's what I have here. And I think that this can come in and, you know, be what you need. So you need to be bold and make the first move in this process. So Libra, that's what I have for you. And I hope that resonated. Uh, do keep in mind, it's a, a general reading. If you'd like a personal tune in specifically to your circumstance, first link down below will pop you over to my website to check those out. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit the subscribe button on your way out. I'd be forever grateful. And come across to Instagram if you are interested in daily content, personal shares and videos about different aspects of spirituality in addition to daily readings. I will see you very soon. Wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.